tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Very good game, TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Scorpion After Show on Why After Buzz. Just I just love this song. It's so good. It's a great yeah. song. Uh, this is Love Vigilantes by Iron and Wine. It's a cover from a new, because uh, I'm old and I know it actually is a cover from <laughs> New Order, which was a 1980s band. Showing my age. Anyway, uh, I am joined today by Maria Sa- Marina Santos. Jeez, Nando, I can't even get my name straight. I, I it's know. the 10th episode. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to pick on Nando for she a had, second. She, she did her quota for picking on me yep. and Ryland Adams I got your name right yeah and I've been here for less than 10 episodes and yeah, so, and obviously I'm not special I'm and a favorite it's fine you're not and uh, and someone whose name I will not mess up who's not here is Monsi Bolanos who yeah. uh, unfortunately due to uh, j- just uh, the way today well, worked no, out football kicked us out yeah. football kicked out yeah we usually <laughs> just football put FYI, priority. yeah, we usually watch the East Coast feed so we can do this uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, is it 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Pacific time that we usually do this? And uh, which will be 10 percent, uh, 10 p.m. East Coast time. Yeah. But because of football on the East Coast, well, the game got snowed out yesterday. Last, oh, that today. Oh, okay. So then they rescheduled it for today, which kicked us. Further yeah, back. and and uh, it just lucked out because I wasn't going to be able to do this show because I was doing a spotlight on. Yeah. Uh, with Janina Kavankar, and, and we ended up watching the West Coast feed and doing this uh, now. Yeah. So it works out fine for me. But anyway, so we are actually doing today uh, episode 10 this season, which is also called Talisman, which uh, we see is is what um, Walter seems to have, according to Megan. But I think Talisman, I don't know, there's something about the fact that there's men in the title of that and, and the fact that... You know, this has been like this has been the craziest mission that they've been sent on yet. Yeah. Team Scorpion, life or death, life or death, uh, out of the country. Their first international mission, Bosnia. Bosnia, which looks a lot like just the woods any any place else. Yeah, more yeah. or less. Where they probably filmed just in. Who knows America. where they filmed it? Yeah, I don't think they really had the budget to go to Bosnia to shoot no. this. Much less, it's not really probably the safest place to shoot a TV show, <laughs> no. an episodic, episodic procedural show. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. So let's let's start talking. Let's start off with uh, Megan because uh, yeah. we get to see Walter's sister. Uh, we've seen little bits and pieces of Paige her before. Kind of pulled uh, pulled it out of her out of Walter a little bit. Previously. Yeah. Well, we saw we saw the backstory that uh, a bit. I believe it was episode two when uh, with the biohacking. Mm. Ooh, pardon me. Uh, with the biohacking that was going on, we got to see uh, Walter because because the governor's daughter was suffering, and then we got to see how Walter. Walter's backstory was that he was dealing with, uh, you know, his own sister with who MS. was ill, who had MS. And, and we also learned a lot from Cave that way, too, because Cave had a daughter that passed away from a sickness as well. Right. Uh, but here we go. We get to see we get to see Megan, Walter's sister, in our first image of, of Megan in, in <laughs> modern day. We saw Walter visit her at one point. But for this episode, at least, our first impression of her yes. is... She's being arrested for drunken disorderly yeah. and resisting arrest, amongst some other things. <laughs> yep. She's pretty damn pretty wild. Yeah, she's pretty badass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'm digging her. She just needed to have some fun. Yeah, yeah and I'm, I'm digging her a lot. What do you guys think? I like her. Yeah? I did too. I mean, it's like she said. She's like, I'm dying. I know I'm dying. So why... Yeah. Like, I want to live mm-hmm. for as long as I mm-hmm. can. I want to enjoy life. I don't want to be in the hospital until I die. Yeah. Yeah. And she and was right. If you feel like you're going to die, you don't want to follow the rules. Yeah. Right? No, I, I, just like Grace. Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are Grey's Anatomy fans. We were too. watching before. Yeah, yeah I see that. Uh, yeah, but I mean, yeah, exactly. I just love her attitude in general. Like, mm-hmm. her, her sassy attitude she's having toward Walter. And also, you know, I mean, she's like, I don't want to be cooped up. Yeah, I want to live my life, which we see her talk about later on in the show. But it, it's really interesting because, as you said, Ryland, uh, Paige had to kind of draw that information out 
about Megan right. from Walter. Well, Walter, we know Walter is not an open person. He He's not. keeps everything in there. And I think it's pretty apparent when he, when Megan insists on hanging out for the day or hanging out, you know, she refuses to go back to the hospital without spending some t- quality time with Walter outside of the hospital walls. Yeah. And uh, she insists on going back to Team Scorpion's base and meeting Which is, the rest of the gang. It's a little yeah. weird to me, though, that Walter wouldn't want to hang out with her because he always talks about how he wants to save her and do all this stuff with her, but then he doesn't ever try to spend time with her, you know? Yeah. yeah. What it's do you think of that? It's one of those things that, yes, we keep waiting and hoping that he's going to come up with a cure, which is very difficult, but we haven't really seen anything since episode two. I think with Walter, and this is just me, uh, you know, just m- my theory is, you know, because he lacks the emotional mm-hmm. stability to mm-hmm. really communicate with someone like that without harping on the problem. You know, it's kind of like he said it later on in the episode when he was in Bosnia. I see, it, you know, there's a problem. I'm, I'm, I go for the solution. And he fixes problems. Yeah, he yeah. Fixes that's the problem. what he does. This yeah. is a problem he can't fix. And we see how focused he can be on a problem. Because they also yeah. bring that up in the mm-hmm. Bosnia case, how, you know, with gunfire going on and you're in the middle of something and how focused he can be on, on a task at hand. I don't think he really knows how to relate with yeah. right. emotionally and thankfully, with his sister. And thankfully, there was a problem which made her hang out a little bit longer, which I, now that the team gets to know her, hopefully they'll incorporate her a little bit more because yeah. I'd like to see Walter have... It seems to be a theme, though, because, you know, when Drew... Sh- whenever somebody new shows up, you know how awkward everybody is. Yeah. Whether it's Drew it's or now it's Walter, <laughs> or it seems to always be, or or Cabe's uh, wife from ex wife yep. from last week. It yeah. always seems to be that okay. Here's here's another person that gets to and be they introduced. Just stand there, and then Paige the is like, guys, hello. I yeah. love that yeah. Paige keeps taking. Yeah. I, she has to, but it's, yeah. I love it. Well, she has to take the initiative, but it's even funnier because you pointed it out when uh, when Megan's like, okay, come on, you guys are supposed to be smart. Someone say something smart. Yeah. Paige is the first one to speak up. Yeah. yeah. Which I think is pretty funny. Which, uh, further in the episode, uh, Cabe's like, she's like, I'm part of this team too, I want to go. And Cabe's like, well, no, you're the glue. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. is really, she has all of these wonderful moments that really shows that she is the glue of that team. It yeah. wouldn't thrive without her. Absolutely, absolutely. But we get to see Sylvester and Toby and Happy do their own little thing. We saw a little, you noticed that little interaction with Toby and uh and um, one of you two, I can't remember which one pointed out when 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 Megan was complimenting Toby or something like that. Oh yeah, like, kind of. <laughs> Happy kind of gave she a little. She said something look. about his hat. Well, yes. because he, we we need Happy to get jealous. Yeah. Or, or yeah. Yeah, we need Happy to get a little jealous. We haven't really seen Happy get jealous over Nothing. a girl yet with Toby's Toby. Toby's the one that's Because like, Toby's kind of weird and, uh, around people in general, so I think it, for someone to actually bond with Toby, that might you know. I don't know. I think he's the up. most normal. Out of that group of geniuses, like like if I had to pick one to go out, it would be Toby, because I feel like he could make me laugh. Yeah, and he has like he's a behaviorist. He, yeah. I feel like he would be a, like he can he, read people. He'd he's be great like, for your life. Yeah, I think it's he great. Can be your shrink. You don't even have to pay. I think for I'd it. hang with Toby. Yeah, I think it's great if you're with Toby and he's reading people around you. You know, like he's like, oh, like yeah. you know, when you're people watching, mm-hmm. he can like really describe what you know, like what people are going through. But when it's you, it's like, okay, shut up, Toby. You know, right. like, oh, you're yeah. people oh, yeah. are dilated, you're this, you you're that. Be a long-term can relationship. you imagine dating somebody like that? Yeah, no. I don't they're think they're like examining you <laughs> every move. You guys get in a fight, and he's like has a chart about you. I think on the surface, Toby is probably looks the most normal, mm-hmm. but I think he would also drive you the 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 crazy. Well, who do you think is the most normal? I just who would said, you I just said go out, guys. I didn't say I would marry Toby or anything. Okay, but I. Who no, would, no, you're marrying Toby. No. You're marrying Toby. <laughs> who I'm would you hang him. out with, Nando? Uh, out of the whole group there, yeah. like who? Would you just to hang out, not well, Paige. <laughs> well, but Paige, no, Paige isn't the genius, okay. so she's not. He she's out of this. He can't pick Happy either. It has to be one of the guys. Oh, I can't. I can't pick Why, a girl. No, he can pick Happy. I can pick no. Happy. You can pick a guy. Why can't I pick a girl? Yeah. I just think Toby. Um, I, I didn't pick Toby I, because he's a guy. I picked Toby because of how he interacts. You and said how he you'd is. go on a date with him. Yeah. So are you like saying I, I have had... to go on a date with, with no, Toby or, or no, Sylvester? No, I'm just okay, talking hang out. Wise. Who would you like to hang out with from yeah, the cast? It doesn't have to be of go geniuses. out. <laughs> Anybody. I would probably, you know, to be honest, um, probably Happy or Toby. Probably one of those two. Yeah. I mean, I, I like them all. Probably Walter, too. Walter would drive me nuts, though, don't you no. think? I think the thing with yeah, Walter is me. just that you'd have to learn when to shut 
up yeah. around him. Because what would you do with Walter though? Like you, it'd no, be a lot of quiet, dry. awkward moments. Yeah, it'd be a lot dry. of quiet. because you'd have to be on a mission to be sad. Okay, we can go back to we the can go back to though. that later. But yeah, I, I would say happier Toby. Anyway, uh, so where were we? <laughs> <laughs> so we're at we're at uh, Meeting, Megan hanging yeah. out and flirting a little that little flirty move it was just like one little move with with uh, Toby that got happy going and um, yeah as you said you know it, I, she wasn't supposed to stay that long Megan but because the gang gets called in on this case Cape calls Walter Cape calls Walter in uh, we get to see Megan throughout this episode at least mm -hmm. and the gang gets called in the the whole gang leaves Megan behind and they get ca get called in on this very very serious mission to Bosnia, where an F-120 Hawkwing uh, yes. has crash-landed, has crashed in, uh -huh. uh, in Bosnia, and it has classified radar cloaking technology. That they're trying to... That they're trying to get. And, uh, and you know, this is very serious stuff. The general says that anything leaves this, uh, this room is cause for capital treason. treason and uh, I'm saying that word right. And, uh, and you know, if, if this technology goes to rebel hands or any hands for, you know, to enemy hands, U.S. security is threatened. So this is a big, big deal. And the gang gets to dress up in military fatigues, just mm -hmm. like uh, just like everyone else on the on this mission. Dun, dun, and dun. they get to meet. We get to meet what seems to be a very big antagonist for Walter, uh, at least for the first half of this episode. Yes. Lieutenant James Corbin, uh, or Jim, and uh, he uh, is going on this mission to rescue, not rescue, to return the corpse of the service, the pilot mm -hmm. that crashed because they right. are presuming him dead based on the information they have at hand. Mm -hmm. Walter's there to get the technology. Yeah, uh, and make sure nobody hacks the password to threat. Exactly, because it's encrypted. And what happens automatically is you have these big military guys. It's kind of like high school for yep. a second. It's like, you know, you got the jocks, you got the athletic guys, and you got the nerds, and they're eyeing each other, yep. and they're kind of giving each other lip. I love that they're needed to work together, though. Yeah. Like, you guys, the team of you have to work together. That's great. They have to work together, but they seem to be on different pages yeah of course uh no pun intended different pages because um on one hand you know the servicemen care more about getting their their comrade their their you know their downed soldier mm -hmm. back home even though they know the software is important and walter doesn't really care about the servicemen mm -hmm. at first at all and just you know uh, wants to get the software. That's what Paige is there for, though. And that's yeah. what Paige, and that's why she's the glue. Yeah. And I love that after their first, uh, after him and Lieutenant James, I want to say Lieutenant Jim because it's so far <laughs> Uh After him and Lieutenant James uh, have that first interaction, Paige pulls Walter aside. And pretty much says, "Look, from now on, when you're gonna say something, think. What would Paige? What say? would Paige do? I wonder. I want I didn't look at Twitter. I'd be so funny if that was trending. I'm Hashtag sure. What would Paige we should do? make a trend. That would make a great Twitter. That would totally make a great Twitter. Uh, anyway, so you know, I wrote here defending our team. Oh yeah, I, I, Paige. This is the part where you said that uh, Cabe says to Paige, you know, you have to come with the team. You're the glue because Paige. Mm -hmm. Paige insists on coming along because she realizes after seeing seeing Walter get all. Yeah. I'll try to get all alpha male mm -hmm. with uh, with Navy SEAL. You know, either if she doesn't show up, you know, Cave's going to be busy defending the team against the SEALs or trying to kill them himself. Yeah. Right. So uh, Cave brings her along. Sylvester doing a move that I think at the time, I think nobody was really surprised by no. this. He does that every episode. He never wants to do he, he anything dangerous. Move, yeah, he doesn't want to be in. Yeah, but he's still much needed in his station back at home. Yeah. Luckily... Yeah, he. I guess he puts up a big enough argument. I don't know if it's that he puts up a big enough argument that Walter feels he should stay home, or if it's Walter just knows better, knows that <laughs> you know Sylvester just would be a total yeah. wreck, or that he knows that uh, Megan needs to have somebody at home with him. So that's probably a, half of it. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of each. I think he knows that Sylvester is so afraid. Yeah, that he understands and lets him. Not get away with it, but yeah. get his way. And he is needed back home, though, too. Like, mm -hmm. they, I mean, they could, I guess he could do the same job with them, but mm -hmm. then again, if they were to get split up, like, that happens, mm -hmm. where would he be able to guide them the whole time? Because he does come in use back at home. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, it's a win-win situation, I think. Ultimately, yeah. it's a win-win situation. But I, I don't think anyone could really see... You know, I'm, I'm sure uh, Ari Stidham, who, who is, plays Sylvester, was acting that way on purpose. That it was kind of transparent mm -hmm. that he didn't want to go on the mission. Yeah. And, you know, that was the best excuse he can come up with. And it, and it, and it served him He's well. He's afraid of everything. Yeah. He's afraid of everything. So anyway, so he gets to stay home. So the rest of the team gets to go out. Uh, one other note uh, before they leave is they meet um, 
the name of the pilot uh, is Captain Barrio. So they meet his wife, and she oh, wants to yeah. get the necklace. Very sad, touching moment, which which is really really good for Paige because it it gives more emotional weight to this situation. Uh, to this whole situation. Mm-hmm. You know? she, yeah, she's crying at Walter, asking if you're the one that's going to see my husband's body. Yeah. And Walter's just standing there. And again, Paige runs in and saves the day. Yeah. And Paige being a mom and seeing that, that you know, the, the pilot has a, a son, you mm-hmm. know, she really, really adheres. One thing that's really funny when they're about, two things that, that are really noticeable when they go on their case. The first one is that little, like, the right guy's slow walk that people do in the mission. Yeah. Remember, yes. like, from the, from the movie The Right Stuff when they uh-huh. have those uh, astronauts walking? They kind of mimic that. With the Navy SEALs, yes. who are badass, and then with Team Scorpion, who are just bad. Yeah, right. They're like putting sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, pa- on. that shot of Paige putting sunscreen the mom, on everything. The yeah. mom putting sunscreen on. Walter with all these the pages. The papers just flying. You know, Toby trying to wear the hat with the uniform. Right, he loves his hat. And it's just like, you know, Happy probably was the most badass out of all of them. Well, yeah, Happy could pull it off. She's always a badass. But, yeah, but, you know, really funny, really, really, you know, seeing seeing them try to mimic the Navy SEALs not Mm -hmm. doing well. And then the other noticeable thing is the four, I mean, other than Cabe, the four people that are going are pretty much couples or possible couples. You have the relationship between Paige and Walter. And then, of course, you have Tappy. Tappy. You have Tappy Tappy and Toby. Hashtag Tappy. Yeah, you have hashtag Tappy. Which is moving along quite well. It is moving along. I noticed that. That's pretty, pretty cool. So we see when they get down to Bosnia, um, they're they're traveling at night. They get a flat tire. Uh, There's some gunfire. Uh, We see a couple little moments, even before the gunfire, where where Happy and Toby are cuddling together a little bit. You know, uh, Happy has her. Sleeping on his shoulder. Yeah. And even during the gunfire, we have that one moment when um, when Paige and Walter are kind of in a little bit of an embrace there, when when Walter's on top of Paige. So we definitely see there's a lot of room to play around with the physical tension. What was that? What was like that? that. The, the physical? What we're doing right now. Yes, what we're doing. That yeah. little bit. Just closer. What you're doing, Rylan. Exactly. And, and from the initial gunfire with the rebel, it's an ambush. Mm-hmm. Apparently the rebels, which they thought weren't going to be, it, they didn't think this case was going to be that bad, which right. of course we've seen so many times on Scorpion before. Yeah, it's always, they always go in like, this case is going to be done in 20 minutes. The show's going to be 30 minutes tonight. And then bam. Bam. Exactly. So this gets to be a little bit tougher. Yep. Uh, from the gunfire that happens, the initial gunfire, uh, uh, Happy and Toby get split up from the rest of the group, so they go on their own mission. We'll we'll follow up with them, but I guess for the purpose of this, we'll we'll continue on with the main group. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you know, when we want to go a little fast on here because we're we're doing this at a different time, so we just want to speed this along. But uh, well, one thing to note that Happy is injured. <laughs> she has a sprained so ankle. She has a sprained a ankle, and they're on their own by themselves. And Happy's in charge of the team, according yeah. to Walter, which they got lost in the woods. Toby doesn't like. But uh, but let's talk about let's talk about the main team. So the main team is on their way to the crash site. Okay, we still see some little tension between um, between uh, the lieutenant and between Walter. Mm-hmm. So they're still not really, really getting along. They get to the crash site, which is supposed to be you know relatively quickly, and they notice the software has been changed. And they notice blood on the on the ground. At first, Paige thought that the pilot was dead, but then they discovered no. Yeah. Exactly. The rebels were behind us the whole time. This was not mechanical error that caused the plane to crash. This was planned. It was it was hacked. Mm-hmm. So luckily, uh, Walter on the case. You know, the Navy SEALs could not find. No. They could not no, figure no this way. out without Walter at this right. point. So I think they're starting to give a little respect to Walter at this point. Because just like in the firefight, Walter was maybe useless. You need yeah. Lieutenant Jim. Now, this is you know you need someone like Walter to discover everything. What's going on? Yeah, they'd be in Bosnia just walking <laughs> in circles. Lost. Absolutely, absolutely. So these guys, they uh, they're on their way looking for uh, you know. Walter was able to triangulate more or less where uh, the, you know, like the satellite signal was coming from. They were yeah. tried, able to figure out where to go, mm-hmm. and they walk because of where the plane fell. And they walk into a minefield. So this was fun. This was a nice little moment. It was a good moment. Yeah. We want to see some action uh, that that Team Scorpion can get out of as opposed to Lieutenant Jim (laughs) saving the day. So, uh, and then Paige really saved it for them. Paige was the one that said the thing that clicked with Walter. She said, I'd rather die in the flowers than die on dirt. And Mm -hmm. he was like, what? Oh. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. So, <laughs> just yeah. like that. <laughs> just like that. So, yeah. So, Walter was like, wait a second. Paige, you're wrong. We're not going to die in the flowers because it makes sense that the flowers would be the only places where the mines wouldn't be because they don't, the mines leak corrosive fluid and, and ruin everything around them. So, we get to see them figure their way out. And then, while we're watching the show, Marina's like, uh, when they're just about at the end, Marina's like, someone's going to step on a mine. And someone's going to die. Someone's going to die. And you were happy. And she's fight. still doing her happy dance about it. People are dying. Yeah. Like I said, it's a TV show. They're all alive. Marina's so they can heartless. Die in the TV show. Marina <laughs> wants people to die. Marina I do not want people to One die. One of our Nando. scorpions can't die, though. It wasn't. We knew. It, yeah. was, it, was, it was Lieutenant Jim. Yeah. It was the leader of the Navy SEALs. He was cute, so that, that you was didn't want sad. Him to die. So that was sad. <laughs> No, but, but if he doesn't it, have a job, it more free time for you. It would be too easy for them to just go through and nothing happened. It's like too perfect. It's yeah. not realistic. Yeah, mm. we find the flowers. <laughs> and then two seconds later. Yeah, that happened. Quick. Good no, absolutely. Yeah, he so, steps on one. Anyway, we get to see, we get to see actually, uh, you know, Walter go to work mm -hmm. to save Lieutenant Jim. That you didn't predict. Yes. I did not. And that was pretty cool. And, and again, this is Walter. You know, they brought this up uh, earlier in the episode. We brought it up here in the podcast that when he's focused on a task, nothing can, you know, he's got it's nerves true. of steel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got, he, he might not be the most athletic person. He might not be a soldier, but he's got nerves of steel. So he discovered that there's a timer. He's still trying to work against the clock. 30 seconds. Turns out the mine was a dud anyway, so you didn't need Walter. But he got a lot of respect for doing that. And yeah, let's not forget, Cabe jumped in like, Saved him. Like, I don't know if you guys Because he kept saying, get out so of there, fast, get out of there. But Kate pushed him and then, like, curled up. Uh, like, yeah. So if it did go off, Although, Kate would have got hurt. Did Kate, did Kate tackle when he when he when he tackled him out of the way did he tackle him toward the minefield i thought he did which i thought i was thought a, he did yeah it was he it kind of ended up being around which would be towards the yeah, yeah i kind of felt like he kind of like almost pushed him onto <laughs> he could have yeah. pushed him onto a mine but it was very fatherly yeah but the, the, it's a thought that counts but yeah. then even james after he had after walter had so trying to be his hero yeah. was like I don't even know, like, half the people wouldn't have done that for me. I know Green Berets, but you are crazy. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. So, crazy. Um, you know, before we go on, first of all, let me bring up, uh, let's talk, now's a good time to talk about iTunes. Of actually. course. Yeah, the we'll best talk about time. iTunes. So, it's the best time. Uh, hey, guys, so, <laughs> if you listen to us on iTunes, thanks so much. Thanks for subscribing. We'd love it if you would rate and if you would comment for us. Five stars. Uh, five stars. We've gotten some good ratings. Uh, it's been a little slow. We don't have as many as we used to, uh, as many recently piling in. But, um, you know, feel free to comment. You also can see us, uh, if you're not seeing us live streaming uh, on video on AfterBuzzTV.com, you can check us out on YouTube uh, where we put our all our videos up afterwards and we read the comments from those shows too. Uh, we thank you so much for your comments. So far, we've gotten a lot of great comments. I have actually been in contact with CBS Publicity, so we're hoping to get some stuff very, very soon. Um, probably won't be till after the new year, unfortunately. But you know, they're very excited about this show, mm -hmm. and they seem very excited. And actually, when you guys rate and comment on us and give us good ratings, it also shows them uh, that you know it's definitely a place worth bringing people. Uh, to to interview cast members, uh, producers, and it helps really ultimately it helps all the shows on AfterBuzz. We have about 80 shows here that we broadcast, a lot of recap shows, and it really supports us all here. So please, we'd love to see your comments. We'd love to hear more from you. Uh, and we respond. We always respond. Yeah, we respond and we, a lot. We'll give you shout outs too. We love shout outs. And we love shout outs. Uh, we don't have time for shout outs today. Not today. You know what? We we haven't done shout outs in a while. So I'll tell you what, if next. you guys if you guys post for the next episode, next which week. is in two weeks, uh, we will definitely uh, do some shout outs. Okay? Just so love and hate. that's my deal. Ooh. Uh Okay, anyway, so before we go on, I want to I want to backtrack a little bit because while this is all going on, Sylvester's running like, you know, he's like in he's doing babysitter. ops. Babysitter. He's babysitter, but he's also like doing ops <laughs> right. back yeah. in, in Los Angeles, and he's dealing with Megan. And I really love this because we talked about this before. As far as Team Scorpion is concerned, Sylvester's the only one that's been kind of like an enigma mm -hmm. as far as his history. Yeah. You know, we've heard a little bit about Toby. Uh, we heard a little bit more about Toby today. We've heard a little bit about Happy. Happy. We got to see Happy's dad. Which I still need to come back. I, I know you guys want to see that, it'll too. Come back. So. It'll come back. But the only person we really haven't heard about is Sylvester. Yeah. So uh, it was a really, really beautiful way to see, you know, Megan's obviously trying to get, learn more about her brother, even. Because, again, her brother's very 
very, very secretive. Yeah. Private. And uh, so I love that uh, Walter keeps these talismans, these little trinkets. And yeah. we saw the casino one. That was kind of a little obvious. We got a little more backstory about Toby. Yeah. But we see how Sylvester's kind of quiet. Uh, as far as what he wants to, you know, to, to release as well. And uh, I, I, what do you think about when he ultimately, like, told us, you know, he, he didn't tell us much. He just told us, you know, that he ran away from home. Well, yeah, I think it's the same issue as we've seen the other geniuses have where their parents, do, as we see with Paige and her son, mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't really know how to connect with him to get a good response and get him happy. Yeah. Uh, and that's why Walter plays so good into their lives. I don't think his, Sylvester's parents knew how to do that either. So mm -hmm. obviously that didn't work out and he thought the only option was to run. Yeah. So he goes and takes money from a bank and then and finds out it. his own life. And he only steals 2,500. I'm sorry, but if you're gonna hack into a bank, yeah. you take more than that. Take enough to make a <laughs> like, living for a while. A few How old was he? He was 16. 16. 16. Yeah. I when mean, I was 16, I would have you taken, taken a million. million. You can't even get a hotel Not room that I've when ever you're 16. People, so there's some holes in the story. Yeah. But no, I definitely think it was he, a motel room. Not I definitely a hotel. Think that okay, sorry. <laughs> he can pull something off. To yeah. this story, I think he had a very bad up upbringing with his parents. Yeah. I don't think it was just something random. Oh, I, do we, I don't get along with my parents and I'm going to No, he away. said bad things. There, yeah. yeah, I think it was something really bad that maybe in future episodes we're going to well, find Well, I think out. we all kind of suspect with his neurosis and how he's afraid of everything that, that he might have been, I, I suspect like abuse. Abused. Yeah, yeah, that's I suspect what I abuse. Right. So we get to hear a little bit more about that. And he's, and you know, what's really cool, and we see it at the very end of the show, but I'll bring it up now, is him bonding with Megan is kind of cool. Yes. And even at the end of the show, when everyone's back together, Megan gives him a kiss. Kiss, yeah. Which I think cheek. was really, really, was really, it was on the mm -hmm. cheek, but it was still really, really cute. He was so happy. And I think, um, I, I, you know, I'm going to say it. I wouldn't be surprised if, if like, if she keeps coming back, that if maybe that would be cool because Sylvester's the only one that really doesn't have uh, uh, a significant. A potential. Yeah, potential. A potential. Yeah. A potential. Even Cave kind of has his ex-wife, you know, she might come back. You never yeah. know. Even Cave has a little, a little. Everyone's had something. This mm -hmm. is his first yeah. opportunity. So this is an opportunity for him. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't off. be surprised. So that would be really, really cool. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, yeah. So, so Megan's searching. She finds all these talismans. Maybe we'll learn more about some of the other ones later. We hear the one about, um, about uh, the talisman with Toby. Not, um, not with Toby. I'm sorry. We heard about the Toby one, but we hear about the one at the very end with Megan. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. trinket, the trinket mm -hmm. for Megan too, which yeah. I think is really, really cute. We'll save that for the end. Anyway, so the guys, let, let's speed this along a little mm -hmm. bit. So uh, let's talk about um, Happy and Toby. They uh, Happy's injured. They uh, best have a, moment. They have a really, really awesome moment when they talk about their feelings for each other, and it's like. Well, it's more like a one-way street where Toby tells his feelings to about him. Well, <laughs> okay, her. but because Toby Paige, reads both of them like yeah. right. But Paige is, or not Paige, Happy. I keep yeah. saying Paige. Happy is wounded. He's figuring it out because he's Mister Doctor, mm -hmm. and then he every time he says something nice, he kind of takes it back. Yeah, and she calls him out on it. Mm -hmm. And then he's just saying, well, he, that he hide he has to hide how he feels about her after he says it because whatever. And then it comes out that he kind of. They don't know if they're going to make it out. So he's like, oh, I'm just going to say it. Gonna I say, say stupid it. things to, to, to hide what you already know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So he says that. And, and also he actually even talks about why he's a doctor, why he's a shrink and not a doctor, about mm -hmm. his mom. Oh, yeah. So we learn a little bit more from him even in that scene. But I think it's really adorable because he's like, yeah, of course I say something funny to hide my true feelings. Mm -hmm. And then he also points out. Which is adorable. Yeah. It's adorable. Yeah. I thought it was a beautiful yeah. scene. And this was goes, my favorite scene of this whole show yeah. tonight. Yeah, I would agree. Mm -hmm. And then he even says, "See, I make I I say something funny, but you put your guard up. You put your armor on." So yeah. he's been calling her out. So, but it was really to, it was kind of like a light bulb in Happy's uh, eyes yeah. too. You know, like she knows it, but to hear it is a very different situation yeah. than just thinking it. And I think she needs that too cuz Happy's so shut up. Like she hasn't had her father figure around forever. I think she needs somebody to kind of constantly tell her oh, or yeah. she's not going to go uh, into it yeah. absolutely absolutely so anyway see the two of them bonding they go they go find a house with igor uh who loves the igor. usa and gets all USA. gets all the all the latest channels if all the latest channels have the facts of life playing on the tv yeah. no it's facts of life because we talked about the facts okay. of life. get it right so sorry guys sorry it's all 80s tv yeah i wasn't and born then yeah you weren't Me born either. there <laughs> thanks okay <laughs> <laughs> <That was laughs> 
Thank you. Well, you didn't even say Continue. anything about you. You're the one just threw yourself in the fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with it. 80s TV was really cool. You guys missed out. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I have Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> so, regardless. Uh, so th they end up having this little cute little moment with Igor. They find out that that's how they got the plane to get knocked down because of Igor's uh, satellite dish. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and really, their storyline more or less ends there until we see them at the very end with uh, Toby carry carrying Happy along. Back ride. And yeah. Happy saying, you know, what, what did she say? She said something like... Uh, like you didn't see that? Yeah, you didn't You didn't see that. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. great. Which is cool. But yeah, I love seeing their relationship. I think uh, we really thought that that, um, that that guy from two weeks ago, the one that Kid Cudi plays. Kid Cudi. Yeah, yeah. Kid Cudi's uh, plays was going to be coming back as a foil in between the two of them. But but they're in Bosnia. So far, <laughs> these past, well, we haven't see, heard them since that one episode. Yeah. I wonder if they'll bring all of the, because they keep introducing us to people that could potentially be series, yeah. uh, have uh, can, like episode arcs, but none of them have come back yet. Well, I think. Um, What's the style of the show? I well, you know what? Because the show wasn't picked up for a full season, they were probably just not? trying to... No, no, it wasn't at the time of the oh. taping. I didn't finish that. I was like, wait, yeah, we yeah. announced that, Nando. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't picked up at the time they were taping this. Yeah. They're probably thinking, let's just keep pounding, them pounding out. these out and bringing new characters in. Mm -hmm. And now, that what, after it got picked up, it's possible they'll start bringing some of these people back. Yeah. Yeah. So that would, be my, uh, that would be my safe guess. So anyway, so uh, at the very end, let's, let's just finish off the Toby happy stuff. Because even though it was adorable and cute, I just want to end with what they had that conversation at the very end, which was Toby saying, you know, I could take better care of you. And she goes, you in quotes, never give up. God. And, oh, good. Oh, good. She goes, she goes you good, never give yeah. up. And then she goes, good. So I, I, I sense that these two are still going to have their little little relationship, you mm -hmm. know. To it's going to happen. It's going to happen. To quote another uh, 80s TV show that, that was around when you guys weren't, uh, Moonlighting, Matty Hayes, David Adelson, Bruce Willis, and Civil Shepherd. Ah, perfect relationship. Uh, to <laughs> perfect w worth watching. They're very good banter. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's it's the segment. Right. That's the segment where it's I show fine. my age. This is the segment where I show my age. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's finish up with the the, the gang. They um, they end up going on a rescue mission, as we know. Mm -hmm. uh, they find the farmhouse mm -hmm. that uh, Arm to the Teeth and Jim and uh, Lieutenant Jim and Walter okay. go to rescue uh, the uh, pilot and get the uh, get the information and get captured. Yes, by the Bosnian and pretty badass. He's kicking the lieutenant's butt and. Walter says, you know what, you need this uh, information uh, decrypted or decoded. I will decode it for you if you let us go. Which, of course, you know. Because obviously know it's not true. Yeah. We figure it's not true. And, of course, we know that Lieutenant Jim's <laughs> going to be like, what are you doing? How dare you? Yeah. But Walter ends up erasing all the data, uh, ends up distracting uh, the Bosnian soldier, the rebel, enough for that Jim gets in there, too. And uh, he throws him, a, a, I think, a metal rod, and mm -hmm. there's a big fight. And then he sets him on fire. He sets him, yeah, there was like some electricity, some electrical wires mm -hmm. or something. I'm not sure what. Yeah. But Walter ends up saving the day, ends up saving uh, the lieutenant like twice in that fight scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, they rescue, uh, and of course, they rescue the pilot. Cabe and this other Navy SEAL end up getting, uh, getting a vehicle with. Uh, with Sylvester's help, yep. yes. even though Happy's the best person to help out, they couldn't reach Happy. And I think this was actually, this might not seem like a big scene, but I think for Sylvester it was because it shows he's usable. You yeah, know, they of course. can do this stuff. They, they're, I mean, they're geniuses. They yeah. know everything. They're just specialized in specific topics, right? Absolutely. But they know it. Yeah. You know, so it's like it was more just like getting out of the box and like. Mm hmm. And, and, and they it. get out of the box, and yeah. Stepping up, absolutely. So, I, but I think it's a big scene because I think it, it talks to what Sylvester says later on mm -hmm. too, that he realizes he's needed uh, more often. He can't just be the guy that's always hanging back. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so they pretty much rescue. They pretty much rescue the pilot. Uh, you know, they give him the the photo that Paige had from his wife. Really, really touching. Everyone goes back. We get to see the gang together. Let's talk about Sylvester. Yeah, Sylvester comes out after at the end, and he pretty much tells. Um, you know, he pretty much admits that, yeah, you know, I was wimping out. Yeah. You know, I didn't go out there. He says that to Megan earlier. And he pretty much tells Walter, I'm there next time. Even if there's guns. Even mm -hmm. if there's guns. And Walter's like, you were used. He's like, I will be there. And he's like, you were there for us. He goes, no, no, no. 
I will be there in the battlefield. Yeah. That was very sweet. And he's I thought that was cool. Paycheck. And and I think maybe just kidding. I, it's very what <laughs> I said. He's worried about his paycheck. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but I'm I think, not I'm kidding. But I will say, I think the Megan thing also got to him. You know, he's kind of like, I got to be a man. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I think he's getting a little smitten with Megan. So again, I think yeah. well, I should save it for predictions, but I think so. Um, let's see. So then, what else we had? Uh, well, we talked about Toby and Happy, mm -hmm. and then. Um, Really, Paige just ended up going home. There wasn't really she much going on. Her, she yeah. just wanted to see her son. Yeah. So, so really, we just got to see Megan and uh, Walter, and Walter yeah. in the final moments and talk yeah. about the talisman. And then instead of Walter bringing Megan back to the hospital, they shared a, a sunrise together. Yeah, because he was like, "We're gonna make." Well, that's when we revealed the whole trinket thing. She yeah. showed him, and it's then beautiful. All they, and we did get to see shots of the. The guy that was captured and his wife too. Yes, yeah, so and we got reunited, to see them to reunite. Nice. So again, you know, everyone's bonding together. A little family shot this time with Walter's real family. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, again, uh, you know, the very very happy ending of with this episode. Now, pretty much, I th I believe that wraps up everything for this episode mm -hmm. in particular. Yeah. That's it. So I think now's a good time to move on to predictions. And now. You're after Buzz TV. Predictions. Predictions. So, uh, because of the situation we had today, we did not get to see scenes from the next episode. We don't even know right. if they aired because there is no, I believe there is no new episode. I have a press release here from CBS saying uh, the next new episode is going to be December 7th. But you know what? Let me read this so you guys okay. know more or less what's happening. Yeah. Maybe you can make predictions either based on what you've seen so far or on this. Anyone who doesn't want to know spoilers for the next week's episode, this is just a press release. It's very generic. Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> but anyone who doesn't want to know even the slightest little thing, uh, it, it's very, it's probably very right. spoiler light. I read it before. It's very spoiler light, but I'm just warning you right now. So uh, the title for episode 11 is Revenge. And it turns out that we'll see things get pretty dangerous and serious as Sylvester accidentally sets off an explosive device oh, no. that severely injures him and more. And more. Yeah. <laughs> and more. Uh, yeah. yeah, it says here uh, on the press release as well, Sylvester's going to get seriously injured when he accidentally triggers an explosive device during an investigation and Team Scorpion will search for who is responsible. So, uh, and one thing I will say, uh, just to add to the spoilers, is it looks like... Um, According to this, it looks like Megan is back this episode. So good. Yeah. I want to see more of Megers. Yeah. So it looks like uh, Camille Goutier plays her. So do what you do think, you guys think? Well, I do you think since Megan's going to be back, her relationship she'll help Sylv Sylvester through his messing this up for the next episode. Actually, I think that's a good. I, I think it's a good point. The fact that this says something that Sylv something's going to happen to Sylvester, Sylvester, yeah, and that she's back. That maybe they are cementing yeah. a little. I am, and he might push her forward. I'm yeah. going to throw a wild card and say he gets in trouble because of her. Ooh, ooh. Like maybe he's trying to impress her to doing something and it goes wrong. I'm going to say the opposite is where he messes up by himself, just being Sylvester, and then she helps him through it. Hmm. Okay. I like that too. Yeah. I think. No, I definitely think that yeah, you know, we've seen so much of Tappy and yeah. even and even um, Walter and Paige. I wouldn't mind seeing more Sylvester. I'm kind of glad this is a, a, a very uh, Sylvester-centric mm -hmm. episode coming up. So. I still want that uh, Tappy kiss though. That's so not gonna happen. You better have a kiss before Christmas. Not gonna happen. Uh, it's not gonna yet, happen. Not yet. Not for a while. I know, but uh, it's still, I'm still waiting for but it. But you know what? This is the eleven. But here's something to, to note. This is the eleventh episode, and originally their order was for eleven episodes. So, so it's possible they could have uh, a lot for this episode. Like this is this is around the point where they possibly wrote the script, assuming we don't know if we'll get picked up. Uh huh. Yeah. So it could be a good place to really put a nice kiss. Yeah. So just gonna I hope add so. that. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Anyway, that wraps up our show for this week on Scorpion. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. So where can we find you two guys when uh, when we want to reach out to you? Well, if you want to reach out to me, you can find me on Twitter at Ryland underscore Adams and then on Instagram at Ryland Adams with no underscore because I can't get the same name. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Marina Santos Fit. Awesome. You can find Monsi Bolanos uh, here next episode, which will be two weeks from now. Uh, her Twitter handle is, I believe, Monsi Bolanos, M O N S E uh, B O L A N O S. Yep. I believe that's She'll what it be is. in the Afterbuzz tweet. 
recap. Yes, she'll be in the recap as well. And she's doing Gotham tonight. Uh, that's why she couldn't do this because we're doing this at the same time. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nando Bell, N A N D O V E L, and here on Afterbuzz for The Walking Dead, Homeland. And I just did a really awesome spotlight on interview with Janina Kavankar, who you may know as Luna from True Blood, and she's currently on The Mysteries of Laura. It's a really, really awesome interview. Uh, please look it up on iTunes or on YouTube. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll check you in two weeks on December 7th for the next episode of Scorpion. Bye. 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 From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.